from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for April 2024. So on April 25th, we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, coming out of his retrograde and going direct. So we have a lot to unpack here. Let's do a little bit of a recap and a review. I want to rewind you to March 18th. That was prior to eclipse season. We had Mercury enter into his pre-retrograde shadow period, which means that that is when information started slowing down. That is where our perspective started shifting. Of course, we were looking a little bit more introvertedly than normal, definitely looking back. And because this all took place in Aries energy, it's had a lot to do with the review of who it is that we once were, who it is that we had to be and the development, the evolvement of who it is that we are essentially becoming. April 1st, that's when Mercury went retrograde at 27 degrees in Aries energy. And of course, that April 1st energy was the halfway point between eclipses. We had the full moon lunar eclipse taking place in Libra energy, March 25th. We have that new moon total solar eclipse in Aries energy taking place April 8th. And so we definitely had a shift in perspective, a shift in understanding, a shift in perception around that particular point in time. And of course, everything was still crazy, was still very chaotic. The pieces are slowly coming together. And now that we have Mercury actually going direct, and again, at 15 degrees, we have some review to do. We have some realizations to do. We have some, let's just call it revision to do, especially taking us back to March 18th, a lot has changed. Taking us back to the beginning of April, a lot has changed, especially where paths and plans and strategies are concerned, where ideas and goals and projects are concerned. And of course, that is all very dependent on the changes on the transformations of self that we've all been going through, especially through this eclipse and retrograde season. So just a heads up, we will be in this post retrograde shadow period until May 13th. And we definitely have a lot of different energy shifts that are going to help us out between now and then to put the puzzle pieces together, to check off some boxes, to review, revise, redesign, restructure our mental plane. We have an opportunity to get our mind right, especially as we head into these major energy shifts here towards the end of April. Again, I'm going to encourage you to take a listen to April's energy forecast. I'm going to recommend that you download the Taurus season e-guide flip to this particular energy shift to capture the topics, the themes, the ideas, the narratives that need to be addressed as we watch Mercury move forward and as we enter into the balancing act that we will all be in towards the end of April and moving into May. So of course, we do have to kind of slow our roll down just a tad. Again, we're in Taurus season, so that shouldn't be that hard. We have to be present. We have to be grounded, anchored into this present moment in order for us to gain our bearings. We have the opportunity with Mercury going direct to get our mental plane focused, concentrated on what it is that needs to happen before Venus and Mars go ahead and shift into their respective rulerships. That is going to bring that balance balancing act energy as along with some initiation energy with Mars now in his rulership in Aries energy April 30th that is going to blaze the path if you will give us the energy give us the information the details that we need to take action upon as we move into May so this is going to be a very revealing time but again just think of it like a drain getting clogged up while Mercury is retrograde. The water isn't going through that drain. It's taking a long time to kind of drain out that sink, if you will. But the clog is now starting to fall apart. And as Mercury kind of moves direct, we're going to see that the water is flowing a lot quicker down that cloggy drain hole. That is our lower level mental plane clearing out the gunk, if you will, the residue, the debris of not only old ideas and old perceptions and old thought patterns, but really kind of, let's call it 
declogging a lot of the gunk that gunked up our minds through eclipse season. Meaning many of us, we knew we weren't in power. We knew we needed to be confused. We knew we needed to trust our intuition, but the whole way through eclipse season and retrograde season, we've been trying to make intellectual sense of things that were never supposed to be made sense of. And so now, because the mental plane is coming back online, we are really pressurizing our headspace to make sense of it all, to come up with new ideas, with new glimmers of hope, with new understandings, with new perceptions that eventually, again, moving into May, we will be able to take action upon. So if you do have the guides available to you, you should be going back to, again, March 18th, and April 1st, specifically. Whatever was going on for you at that time, whatever questions you had, whatever topics and themes you were kind of sorting through, whatever conversations you were involved in, that is likely what needs to be addressed, what needs to be cleared up, so to speak, before we're gonna be able to move on into initiating new ideas, new conversations, new paths, new plans, new strategies. That is what the post-retrograde shadow period is all about. But it does take that two weeks in order for Mercury to get up to full speed, which means that the clarity is going to just drip in again that clog is kind of dissipating the water is funneling down the drain a lot quicker but it's not going to be until may 13th that everything is cleared out of the drain and everything is returning back to its normal function it's normal let's call it drainage system we're getting rid of the gunk we are going to receive little glimmers little inspirations little epiphanies along the way the puzzle pieces will be snapping together and we will have a bigger broader picture revealed to us that we will eventually be able to take action upon.